AJL Cinema. What's going on, y'all? I had this little issue, you know, with a cinema display my friend gave me. This nice little piece of machinery right here. So expensive, but it fucks up for nothing. And I wanted to, you know, extend my, my little screen onto another one for editing purposes. So after doing what I could with that, even try to get the LED light strip and all the other bullshit, I got a, this is the thing, I spliced the MagSafe, did all types of things. A stupid MagSafe in on this Mac Mini, right? So, you know, Thunderbolt or whatever it is, mini display. It's a piece of shit. The cinema display is meant to be for, I guess, a laptop connection to make a laptop screen bigger. And I don't understand that one bit. So being that I edit, you know, videos and stuff and actually Final Cut and Adobe Premiere. I wanted to extend my laptop. So my hack or, you know, it's probably you know, capable of happening. It's not really a fucking hack or whatever, but what I did was I got Apple TV. So now it's extended to my primary TV in the bedroom through Apple TV. This is the old one, it's cheap as hell. But all the headache you're gonna get for all of that, you could just send it right to your screen. So there it is. That's that's what this is about. Get Apple TV, right? There goes Final Cut. It's actually the first time that I'm gonna test this on uh, Final Cut. So let me see if I could somehow detach this window. I know I definitely could, you know, stretch it. Oh, guess not. I thought I could stretch it. But I wonder if I could stand alone. Or send this to another display. Let me see. I should be able to. And I can't. Alright. So. Uh, let me see. Viewer display. Angles. Uh, the same thing I've seen over there. It's AV output. Enter full screen. I guess I can't. Well, either way, if I wanted to just run Final Cut, you know, in the other window, now it's over there. Now, you, whatever, you could put these next to each other. And I'm pretty sure I could do that. I'm just not going to do that on your time. But um, that's it. That's your, your other monitor right there. And I guess if you had two Apple TVs running, which I do, I have one downstairs, my son's, uh, you should be able to work without worrying about this piece of shit messing up for no fucking reason. The cinema displays, I think, are fucking garbage. I want to punch a hole through it, but it was a gift. So there you have it. Apple Mini, Mini, uh, what the hell, Mac Mini, with its, you know, its ports here. If you're familiar, you don't understand what you're looking at. I'm not going to explain that, but uh, then this is the 24-inch Apple Cinema display, which I was psyched to get, but it's a piece of shit. Can't get it running. And this is some bullshit screen that I just got whatever and you know I've done it before but when I was really into fixing this so it could work with my Mac mini I was real psyched about that but you know look at how it turned out so get yourself an Apple TV send it wirelessly make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection there you go duplicate screen extent uh, screen extension whatever have you you know what I'm saying 
you could watch uh, your, your movies or whatever you have, whatever your habit or your pastime on your computer is or if you edit and so on. All right. There you go. Uh, thanks for watching. AJL Cinema. <laughs> AJL Cinema. My name is Foggy Lungs. I have another channel on here. This is my, you know, other channel that I, I promote more positive things. But I'm um, Jim. Nice to meet you. And uh, try it out. I'd like to see your comments. You know, and uh, whatever. Also, go look at my video when I have a teppanyaki hibachi. It's pretty, you know, got a lot of clicks. It's my best video on this channel. So there you go. That's all. You're welcome. And look out for more tutorials. Also, I'm filming on a Canon 70D with the autofocus feature, which is pretty great. I'm at 3.5, 1600 ISO and a 30th of a second i guess i don't know what the hell that even means really and the servo is autofocus which gives me you know the autofocus feature also i'm gonna give you some tutorials on cameras and stuff too so uh if you have any requests let me know i'm pretty much know a lot of things so if you got any requests let me know but there you go the extension have a good day peace